Hello. Right, just a quick one. I've pretty much finished the Svod. Svod. Um, I don't always say it, it's New Zealand. Um, peasant knife modification. Um, was playing around with the handle a bit more, sculpting it, because obviously I've got the arthritis -y weird hands now. So um, trying to get it so it's nice and comfortable. Um, it is a friction folder, which means as that opens up, there's no lock. So as that opens, that sits in there. And it's just your your hand on the the handle itself that stops that from folding. Um, there's a little pin in here, just just there, and the blade shaped in a way that when it's open, the pin stops it from this going inside. And obviously, the lanyard does as well. Um, and when it uh, shuts, the pin stops that from hitting on that that there as well so I used the old uh, scales which were plastic it weren't particularly nice nice shape comfortable in the end but I just wanted something a bit more tradi uh, traditional right? mm. it's based on a Rome an old Roman like 2 BC or something 20 BC something stupid like that it was found in the dig um, that's, that's the style of it but so I say they're from New Zealand um, would have been nice to have the blade a bit thicker but it's Brilliant for what it is. It's forged, it holds, and then it's, it's high carbon, so got to keep it oiled. Holds the blade, not um, an edge nice. The only thing I'm left to do yet is um, UK legal carry. It's one thing that needs to be done before I can use it or take it out, rather. This cutting edge, most people think it's the blade left. No. The cutting edge itself can be no longer than three inches. And this is like 3.1 or something. So it's uh, two and a quarter millimetre needs to be taken off. Now I can do it two ways. I can round this off to make it more of a drop point or I can put a choil in the back. So what I'm gonna do, I've extended on purpose, I've extended the actual handle itself. So when it opens, I'm gonna put a choil in there you're not going to see it. Um, I was going to put, I, I do prefer more of a drop point than this kind of spear point. Yeah, almost a clip point, but not quite, you know what I mean? Um, but I like it. So I'm not going to take it off of here. It's nice to have that sharp point for, for getting in and scooping out. So yeah, I'm going to put a choil in there. Um, maybe some um, jimping across the top to, to because you can really get up on that. You hold that on the back of your hat back there. You can really get up on that. That's going absolutely nowhere. Um, done a little bit of lanyarding. Got me the bear's paw on there. A um, couple of ranger beads and uh, a little bit of cobra. So, um, yeah, very nice. Locks in, nice and secure. I've got some leather on the way. And I, it's a nice um, full grain chestnut, I'd say the colour of that was. And um, yeah. I've got some green. Cognac. Oh, yeah, yeah, good term. And I've got some green, uh, sort of quite a nice green. Um, actually, it's not that dissimilar to the lighter green in that. Um, artificial sinew to stitch. I'm going to make it the whole thing by hand. Uh, may do a little series on it because it's the first bit of um, sheath making that I'm going to do. So, um, yeah, might um, have a go doing a bit of video in that. So I thought I'd just keep you updated. Um, so there we are. Really like the way that's come out. So comfortable. Looks great. Yeah, I finished it in 400. Um, I was going to go six, but actually having a little bit of texture. Oh, that dog is such a moron. Um, having a bit of texture on there, just to, I don't want it slipping around. It feels really nice. Very nice, yeah. Yeah, yeah she likes it. Likes it. <laughs> um, I like the basicness of it. I like the traditionalness of it. Um, grips nice in there. I was going to do some liners, but you know what? There's enough colour. There's enough going on as it is. Um, yeah. Um, I'm going to do the um, sheath that way. 
Um, so that hangs. Um, I was thinking about, but you know what? That's where the lanyard really works. Um, you can use the back of that for doing ferro rod. I'm going to do a ferro rod attachment on the side. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, Simon's got it. They're non-stop around here at the minute. Right. Thank you very much. God bless. Keep safe.